This is interesting nonetheless. I just don't know what I found. Well, we're essentially, I forgot where the camera was, we're essentially inside of it right now. I think I found a rather interesting roadside find. And it's unusual because the road is actually the Pennsylvania Turnpike. This is something I spotted recently and I decided to come here for myself and see what it is. And it's actually back there behind me. If you want to find out what it is and see what I find, all you need to do is come along with me. Winter is still holding on here in Pennsylvania. We're more than halfway through March and it's a cold, blustery day. The temps are around 28 degrees. Winds are averaging 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 30. But thankfully we have sunny skies. But you may hear some noise, some traffic, some trucks. That's because I'm standing near the Pennsylvania Turnpike. And this is an area that I've never explored before. I've actually never stepped foot on this ground until today. But I've driven past this area dozens of times. And this area has always intrigued me. It's always had my attention because it's a big open area, a big rock cut section. And it makes me wonder what maybe took place here back in the day. Well, one particular time recently when I was driving by, I was concentrating on this side that I'm on. And I noticed not only some random discarded things that are out here that probably shouldn't belong here, but also an outline of a building or a house. So once I saw that, I'm like, okay, I need to get there for myself, get on foot and see possibly what I could find. Now, at first glance, looking on the other side of the turnpike, that's a big rock face there, which I believe was drilled and blasted out a long time ago. Almost reminds me of a quarry of sorts, which I can't rule that out. I don't know what was here prior to the turnpike, but that is a big open area and a big rock face that was carved out of the mountain there. But this side also has its own formations, some rock faces as well that were chiseled, carved, blasted, however you want to make of it as to how the work was completed. But regardless, I'm guessing at one time, this was probably complete as one big rock face or hill or small mountain, whatever you want to describe it as. But work was definitely done here. This area has been significantly altered. I'm sure putting the turnpike in had something to do with it, but my intuition is that this area was worked prior to the turnpike being built. And maybe we'll have some more confirmation of that, but just wanted to point that out. But where we're heading right now is along this power line trail, and we should start seeing some things up here on the left-hand side. Walked a bit further down now, and here is where we're gonna be starting our search for these items. And I already know straight ahead, some of them are standing out right here. And as I look in the distance, may or may not be able to see it. I do see a triangle shape wall of sorts. And that's what I saw from the turnpike driving by. So we're gonna save that for last. But right now we're gonna focus on this area because there's definitely some items that were deliberately placed here. And on my approach here too, there is nothing saying I can't be here as far as gates, signs, fences, purple paint, nothing of the sorts. I also know there's a, a shooting range or a target range back here as well that people do frequent based on what I saw on my approach in here. But yeah, this is what I saw initially, these tractors here. Just random weird items placed back here along the side of the turnpike. And just to show we're only that far away from the turnpike itself. Looks like they've been here for a little bit amount of time. RJ could probably tell me more about these than I would know myself, obviously. This one's a Ranch King by MTD. This one here, missing the hood, it's got some purple fenders on it. I don't know what kind that is, but it's got a Briggs & Stratton engine. And a Dynamark by Noma Outdoor Products. I've ne actually never heard of that one before. 
maybe one of these are more rare or valuable than the others. They could be just complete junk, but that's why they're out here. Looks like some of them are missing certain parts. This one's missing the steering wheel, obviously. Custom handle right there. Looks like this one's the, the most complete. Aside from that, there are some things that are neatly placed here, like these stone blocks, some cinder blocks, pavers. There's a tank here. A lot of this stuff's on pallets as well. Reminds me of like a like an old work site or something. But again, there's nothing, you know, really saying why they're here who placed them here. There's some rims right there for a commercial truck, a toy. <laughs> We've got a ATV girls power wheels. And this area just looks like it's been disturbed recently too. Like maybe something came through, maybe a bobcat or a small excavator. I can actually kind of see tracks right here, so. Definitely something came through here recently. And it looks like they cleared all this brush out here. I honestly don't know what to make of it other than it's just laying here as a storage. Most of it is for construction of sorts. And this is like a type of conduit maybe. And then we have like drainage piping, PVC piping, a basketball hoop. Barrels, bed liner, just weird random stuff. All right, we're leaving that area now saying goodbye to the tractors and the miscellaneous items. And we are coming here straight ahead. Do you see it? Yes, there is something that was built a long time ago that is still standing. I don't know what it is other than it's a type of structure or what's left of it, but let's investigate that area, see what we can find. There's definitely more going on here than I realized. We've got a small retaining wall here, almost resembles a, an abutment of a bridge because as we look to the other side, there is another one right there. This may have been a type of bridge of sorts, but we also have all this. These are some pretty old ruins. The area is cleared out recently, just like we saw in the other area, something came through here with the equipment and made a clearing there. So I wonder what's gonna become of this area because there's some work being done within the last couple of weeks. And it makes you wonder if whatever's here is still gonna be standing. Boy, there is a whole bunch of ruins here. And I had no idea. So this big concrete, Post support. It's a good size. There's actually some railroad tracks coming out of the corner. I think they may have used it for rebar of sorts or structural integrity. And down below, there's actually a lot more as well. These are made nearly and completely out of hand laid stone. I don't know what I just found. Looks like a type of a garage door of sorts or double doors. 
and then a manway door over here. There is some bricks mixed in. There's a window there framed out of wood. I'm gonna try to get down there, take a closer look at things. And it looks like there's some more down the other side as well. Not down inside of what I call the garage door. I do see some limestone, actually quite a bit of limestone right here. And some flat stones and some bricks. It is mortared together. And obviously it's still standing the test of time, at least these sections of it. If I was to say the height from bottom to the very top at the peak there, I would say maybe between 15, 20 feet. Looks like there may have been a floor right there too. I do see a difference, difference, differentiating stone color there. So there may have been a first floor. This may have been the basement, possibly. On the ground, there's just discarded bricks, down trees. Uh, those trees are trip hazards. Got to watch out for those. Here's the most intact part right here. Essentially, we'd be inside the corner of the building here. And here is what I'm calling a manway, doorway. And I see I'm not the first person to be here either. Window up there. This is on a slope, so not sure if this was the original flooring or inside of it. I'm thinking maybe this stuff was maybe pushed in here with the construction of the turnpike possibly, or that power line road that we walked on. So I'm not thinking this is the true bottom. But as we come through to the other side, some more walls, another window right there. A little see-through there. There's also a pipe coming out above the window, above and right of the window is a pipe protruding through the wall. And then we look through to the other side over here, just another wall. But then there's some more ruins down here below. Further on the inside, I'm finding some evidence of something that was placed in here. What we're looking at is, I believe some stone, possibly concrete pads. Thought I heard voices. And there is some rebar or anchor bolts coming out through them as if something was mounted here. There's some large nuts here as well. And another one right there. So something was installed here, placed here, held down here at one time. Looking through another opening there. So right there is that large concrete column that we saw before with the railroad tracks. That's the proximity of it to this wall. But there's definitely more going on here besides just this. But this honestly resembles like an old village of sorts or an old maybe mining camp or possibly an old business of sorts too. Now I did mention earlier that maybe this area was a quarry. Maybe this was something that was related to it. It is within the proximity of it. But during my editing process, I'm gonna to return to my older maps I have access to that date from the 30s to the 70s. And we'll see if, if and what shows up on there signifying maybe what was taking place here. I think we may get lucky and find something at least showing these buildings intact and possibly what they could have been used for.
So this is where things get even more interesting. We're at the last wall here. And as we look over, well, we have all of this. What was going on here? Now down there is actually someone's personal property. That's actually their driveway. So I can't go any further than this area here, but these are going down basically like a decline, like a slope. The last one is right there, which is at the border on the actually other side of the driveway in their yard. So she resembles like a, a gravity plane of sorts. And it's kind of leading in the direction of the big rock face on the other side of the turnpike. So it's like a type of bridge or an incline or a slope. I don't see anything that's related to mining, but I'm thinking maybe more of a quarry. Maybe they were quarrying stone for construction of something and they were bringing it down here and maybe processing it. I'm actually going to walk down there just a bit, give you a sense of scale so you can see what it's like compared to me. And I'll see if I find anything as far as clues or something hiding that I'm not spotting right here from this vantage point. So standing over here, you can see this does tower over me. Then we have these ones here, which aren't as tall, but they do kind of go down, you know, as I mentioned, down a slope. I'm actually gonna bring you down here though because it looks like there's maybe some more down here I didn't see that may give some clues as to what this was, but this is interesting nonetheless. I just don't know what I found. There's also water trickling through here too. Might be an underground spring. Maybe that's another clue. Had something to do with water maybe. Seems like whatever was here though was holding a lot of weight. These are some big concrete columns or supports. I don't see any more walls on that side over there, just another chunk of concrete. This appears to be the last wall right here that I've shown you from the other side. What do you guys think? What's your mind leading you towards? So you did see me standing up there in that area. And as I said, there's more down here that I didn't see from where you guys were. And as I made my way down, I was able to see this. And this. It's about a 12 to 15 foot drop. Looks like something was mounted here on both sides of it. See the clear lip anchor bolts on both sides. So something was mounted on top of this. And then we do have like an open cavity of sorts down there, which I don't know if I can make it down there. I'm going to try. And that's the property down there with the person's driveway. Wasn't easy, a little bit out of breath, but I made my way over here towards this other section that we were just viewing. So right here where we're looking is where I was explaining that it looks like there's something mounted here because there's anchor bolts and lip on both sides and also straight ahead. There's just tons of anchor bolts here. But down here is what had me intrigued to want to venture over here because It's like a, a room of sorts. Well, we're essentially, I forgot where the camera was. We're essentially inside of it right now. This is a type of room. I thought maybe this went somewhere. And as I'll show you, it just is filled in. There's a hole here with water coming through and a wall of icicles right here as well. So 
it's an opening here. And on the other side of this, there's some smaller support columns and those two larger walls, but everything is still going down this direction for the most part. There's a notch in this concrete here, like a post was through there. This is pretty thick though. These walls here, like here, it's probably three to four feet thick. Over here, about two feet thick. And this looks like more finished, smoother concrete than where you guys are, where it looks like it's rougher, older concrete mixed in with stone. So maybe two different time periods. But we did see there's a lot on top of this, a lot of weight, a lot of structure on top of what this room is. This is a hollow cavity here for a reason as to what that reason is. Let me know your guesses. This concrete is actually secreting, I believe that's calcite or calcium, one of the two. They often form stalactites just like that right there. It's creating its own unique sculpture. So after investigating those structures and those ruins, I'm fairly confident it wasn't a home site. It didn't resemble that at first based on the shape, like the, the triangle shaped walls, but I'm really confident it was a type of business. And I'm thinking that it was related maybe to the quarry site here, if that is indeed what it was. Before the turnpike was put in, I'm thinking this was one big working site and those buildings were just part of it. As to why, those parts are still standing, who knows? But regardless, we're able to see what once existed here and to see how man has took, taken over, not taken over, taken over, put in the turnpike here. And as for those items that are discarded back there, the tractors, the blocks, the power wheels, I think someone most likely owns that stuff and they're just storing it there. But just weird that it's just the open site like this this is probably turnpike property. And like I said, I didn't see anything signifying that we're not allowed to be here. There is a shooting range back here, as I mentioned. So locals do come here. They probably know more about this information or it's just say this area than I do. But regardless, was, this was a rather unique roadside find, even though I wasn't able to pull off the side of the road. I did spot this area from the road technically, so it can be considered that, but it's just some random weird stuff but those buildings definitely were worth checking out. And regardless of what happens to the site, at least it's documented now on my video for future generations to enjoy if they wish. Anyways, thanks for coming along for this random, weird type of roadside finds adventure. Until next time, 
I'll see you in the next video.